You may have seen this eye-catching headline over the weekend. Rolling Stone magazine published a piece titled why marijuana could be legal in Florida as soon as 2020. It's a topic our Phil Buck has been following very closely, and he's with us now to give us a little bit of perspective. So what are the chances this could really happen by next year? Well, I mean, Katie, I'm not gonna sit here and like tell you that this deal is as good as done, but it's impossible to ignore the momentum behind this movement right now all over the country, especially right here in Florida. I mean, right now, we have multiple efforts to get this on next year's ballot so voters can decide for themselves. Get a look at some of the major players, all right? You've got State Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed. She has been a strong advocate for all kinds of cannabis-related issues. You've got Michael Minardi, the chairman of Regulate Florida, one of the groups that's collecting signatures to get this on the ballot. I also talked with State Senator Jeff Brandis today, who is a Republican who has ties to a new campaign to put recreational marijuana on the ballot, which is called Make it legal Florida. That's a whole separate effort. And then of course we've got, uh, you know, pot daddy, John Morgan. <laughs> you remember he spent $7 million supporting the amendment to get medical marijuana here in Florida back in 2016. Well, this month he jumped in on the legalize it train as well. Yeah, this is hardly a marginalized, tiny grassroots effort. Not grassroots, anymore. no pun intended, right? <laughs> so are all of these groups working together on this or are they in any way competing against one another? It's still too early to tell. You know, here is what Michael Minardi, the chairman for Regulate Florida, here's what he said when I asked him that today. We've spoken to them and I'm waiting for their amendment. I thought it was gonna come out last week. You know, the plan is that I'm gonna review it and we're gonna get on a call and talk about how we can potentially work together with moving this effort forward. So, you know, Regulate Florida, they're way out in the lead on this right now. They've already collected close to 90,000 signatures. Wow. And their amendment is already ready for consideration by the state Supreme Court. But Minardi also tells me he is concerned about what could happen if they don't start working together. I mean, he said it's happened in other states where they have had competing amendments on the same ballot and both have failed. So what about going through the legislature? So Florida's state capital is dominated by Republicans. Traditionally, marijuana not really been an issue that Republicans have embraced historically. Right, yeah, times are changing though, Katie. I mean, we talked about John Morgan a second ago. Check out this quote from the Rolling Stone article from him on the Republican opposition. Quote, there's a handful of filthy rich, old, old, old white conservatives that are the sugar daddies for many Republican politicians who are admittedly, and I mean crazily, opposed to anything marijuana. So until they croak, for a better word, that'll be the problem. The young Republicans like Congressman Matt Gates, he is a champion for us. It is the old, old, old Republicans, end quote, which is what John Morgan said, obviously a really strong wording there. And, and But, you know, I think it does reflect the reality that younger Republicans feel very differently than older Republicans do on this. Here, it's very similar to what Senator Jeff Brandis told me about this when I asked him about it today. This is not a matter of if, this is a matter of when. The polling gets stronger every year. Um, it polls well over 60% right now in Florida, and 60% is the minimum threshold that it would need to pass as a constitutional amendment. I think support? there's really been a seismic shift over the last few years. I mean, you know, I, we didn't have medical marijuana just a few years ago, and now the conversation has quickly shifted uh, to a, a broader conversation. I think it's appropriate that the legislature take these on questions on. So, Katie, I asked Brandis today, is he ready to be the one to file a bill to legalize recreational marijuana for the coming legislative session? He tells me he's already looking into it. Well, at least we have nobody mincing words. No. You know, some very direct <laughs> conversations there, Phil. Certainly not. All right, thank you.